Well, Todd, let's get your thoughts on what happened today. Well, thanks, Pam. First of all, as excited as we are for the ruling, I think it's important to take a moment and send our thoughts to the families in Charleston, as President Obama is going to be eulogizing yeah, we, yes, he's Reverend going down Pickney and being, uh, right now. Delivering the eulogy to right. the pastor. Well, and as he just said in his remarks, that it's up to the civil rights movements to reach back and help those others. I think the gay movement has that opportunity right now. Uh, from a Wall Street perspective, I think Wall Street is elated. As you saw in the Windsor brief two years ago, we had 179 companies sign that brief supporting the freedom to marry. And then two years later, for this particular case, 379 companies signed that brief, and more Wall Street firms signed that brief than any other industry. So financial services and Wall Street in particular are incredibly excited because they know that discrimination is bad for business. Erica Karp, come in on this topic and uh, maybe give a little bit of your own personal background as to what this means to you. All right. Hi, Tim. And uh, this is a very exciting day because it really isn't just a political victory, um, but it's a business victory because we know that great businesses with great governance need to embrace everybody. Ideas and relationships are the two things that never become a commodity. And so what this means, this is an acknowledgement um, that you know, we're protected. Everyone is protected under the law. And um, you know, from my standpoint, you get more innovation, more creativity, more leadership um, when everyone can really bring um, all their consciousness um, to their business. So it's very, very exciting. By the way, I would also say that we're not there yet, right? We need to see companies, you know, like Disney and like Apple and like Goldman Sachs, um, really lead the way in terms of governance. So, and then for me personally, again, it's very, very exciting too. You know, I've been married for a long time, uh, three little girls. It's very exciting for us. Todd Sears, if something like this had passed when you first got involved in Wall Street, how would it have changed your life? Well, I wouldn't have gone back in the closet. And Erica, as Erica knows, um, Erica was one of the, the pioneers coming out when she was an investment banker. So both of our lives would have been very different. Our output would have been very different, et cetera. Um, but as Erica said, I think the key here is that it's a success. It's a moment to celebrate. But in 29 states, you can still legally be fired for being gay in the workplace. In 34 states, you can still be legally fired for being transgender. So there's still a lot more work to do. So even if this marriage ruling had happened when I was still on Wall Street, it still would not have protected me in states where I could still legally be fired. But having had this ruling come down today, what are the chances that those rulings, those regulations are not challenged and overturned? I would absolutely hope that they would use this as a way to push those laws forward. If you look at the Prop 8 case, Kenji Yoshino from NYU wrote a book called Speak Now, and he actually itemized all the arguments that are used against marriage equality and equal dignity for LGBT people, and they were all decimated on the record in the court. So that those marriage equality rulings and this current marriage equality ruling can be used for a much broader opportunity for LGBT inclusion. Erica Karp, I'm wondering if you could speak a little bit about the ruling in its relationship to those people just entering the workforce. What will this mean for them? Well, I think it's, it's fabulous for them because this is a way that you get as, as an employee, as a leader of the future, this is a way you get to identify, is this a company that I want to work for? Is this a company that will allow me to have a feeling of purpose, knowing that I work for an institution that understands all of me, who I am, and respects me? And so from the standpoint of those companies, again, that I mentioned earlier, companies that lead the way, companies, by the way, that, that um, engage with the UN Global Compact, right? When we think about the principles of business, those are the companies that are going to be um, magnets for talent in the future.